okay, at this point, your patient is not breathing. Students at MTC's Philadelphia Job Corps Life Science Institute learn what it takes to save someone's life during an emergency. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask Ms. Davis here to uh, demonstrate how to properly uh, use a bag valve mask. Valerie Davis is one of several students at the Philadelphia Job Corps enrolled in the Emergency Medical Technician, or EMT, program. Well, I've been in the program now for about two, maybe three months now, and it's been quite an experience. It's an intense training program. It's been quite a, quite a challenge, but I'm, I'm getting there. We have the most difficult program here at Job Corps. Um, it's a full-time commitment, and uh, our success rate has been very high. Philip Kahn is one of the instructors. Also, we're going to assess for our pulses. How long do we check for a pulse? And so is Leslie Brock. Combined, these instructors have more than six decades of experience in emergency medical services. So this is the most paramount, most important of all the skills that they learn. Students receive excellent training. I learned CPR, AED, uh, patient assessment for medical and trauma, as well as lifting and moving patients. Those who make it through the program must pass the rigorous national registry exam. But when they do, they're extremely marketable. A majority of the students leaving here, by the time they leave Job Corps, will have a full-time job waiting for them. Brittany Funderburg recently graduated and is now working for Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital in Darby, Pennsylvania. She says being an EMT is not easy, so students must be focused. I would tell them to stay encouraged and stay motivated. This is not a profession for the training department. You see a lot of things that normal people probably wouldn't be able to handle. So nothing's impossible uh, when you start off uh, with the uh, emergency medical technician uh, field. It's a, a job that's always there, always available. Students who successfully complete the Philadelphia Job Corps EMT program are proud to display their national certificate. So what we have here um, is our Wall of Fame, which is our national registry. Uh, once they've obtained their certification, the students are very eager to come back here and put their uh, certificate up on the board. Wearing the uniform is a privilege. You have to earn your right to be in this program. You have to earn the right to wear this uniform. Being an EMT is one of the most noble professions you can have. 